Hi, I'm Erica Bradley, and you're watching LIE. Hey, everybody, she's Rebecca Farina. And he's Mike Peters. And you're watching LIE. LIE. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to take a look at the pics you guys sent in. We'll take a look at events from all over Long Island. We have a sneak peek of the brick wall here at PATV. And Long Island Gaming. All that and more on, on LIE. LIE. Incoming. Oh, way. Here we go. Good My one. favorite moment. But before we look at this week's hashtag of the week, we have to look at... What we got from last week. I can't wait for last week's hashtags. Last week's hashtag was furry faces. So let's take a look and see. Oh my God. Come on, look at him. He's so cute. Little baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. He's even oh. cuter, than the, <laughs> cuter than the last one. I can't handle this. So uh, <laughs> and uh, just this, this one, this one's mine. This is Steve. Steve, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Maltese. Oh, he's adorable. Little lady is... Uh, she, I bet. She's when he's 13, 13 years young. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that was adorable. <laughs> I hope that this week's hashtag is just as adorable as last week's. Well, uh, not quite, but it's something we've all experienced. It is hashtag missing sock mystery. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I think you know what this is. We all have socks that just vanish when we wash them. We'll have They're one gone. sock, where is the pair? What happened to it? Well, I actually found a bunch of socks in my washing machine, uh, in my washing machine on the side, as you can see in this picture over here. Look at that black hole. Oh my, oh there was my a God. bunch down that black hole and look, here are all the recovered socks that we found, <laughs> and most of them are mine. So. Well, I think that the mystery is solved, but if you guys have lost any socks or uh, you found them in weird places maybe, you can use the hashtag missing sock mystery and put it all over social media. This is our Instagram right here. It's L-I-E underscore on P-A-T-V. Uh, use that hashtag, and next week we're gonna take a look at some of your picks. Yeah, submit those things. Yeah. So now let's take a look at some of the upcoming events on Long Island. With spring just around the corner, Long Island has a lot to offer in terms of entertainment. Let's take a look at what local events are coming up near you. To all the parents and kids watching, keep an eye out for these upcoming family-friendly events. Hofstra University is offering a free program in which families can come and explore the art covering Hofstra's campus. Look at world art with the Beth Page Federal Credit Union Global Explorer Family Backpack and create their own masterpieces based on what they see. The events are available several times during the summer from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please see www.hofstra.edu slash community slash museum slash index for the date. Stony Brook will also feature the 2016 Minority and Women-Owned Business Enterprises Expo on June 28th. This event will give MWBEs the chance to meet New York State agencies, expand resources, and more to maximize their opportunities. If you meet the criteria, consider attending to better your business. Some big name artists will be performing at Jones Beach this summer. Pop icon Janet Jackson will be making a special appearance this summer. Miss Jackson will be at Jones Beach on June 25th, so don't miss your chance to be a part of this great musical experience. Jones Beach will also feature bands Weezer and Panic at the Disco on June 30th. This is another rare opportunity to see two great bands side by side, so if nothing else has appealed to your taste so far, this may just be the concert for you. And if you've got any particular interests, there are many events on the island where you can meet people with similar tastes. Every Friday night of May, there will be a car show in the Belmore train station parking lot. This is a great chance for all the car lovers out there to check out all sorts of vehicles, both old and new, so don't forget to drop by. If you're a dog person, check out the All Breed Dog Show coming up this May. From May 20th to May 21st, the Planting Field Arboretum Historic State Park will host this event daily beginning at 9 a.m. If you're a comic book fanatic or love a particular book, film, or TV series, the fourth annual Eternal Con is a chance for you to meet other fans, cosplayers, and even some celebrities. 
Eternal Con is Long Island's biggest comic convention and will be held at the Cradle of Aviation Museum from June 10th to June 12th. Start preparing your cosplay and get ready to meet some equally passionate fans. The Cradle of Aviation Museum will also hold the 2016 Technology Island Job Fair on Monday, June 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For anyone seeking a job in the technological field, it's time to touch up your resume and dress to impress for the chance to land your dream job. And finally, for all you film buffs, the Long Island International Film Expo will be held from July 13th through the 21st at Belmore Movies. This event will be hosted by the Long Island TV and Film Foundation and the Nassau County Film Commission and will feature anywhere from 50 to 150 independent films. Submissions for films are now closed, but if you're interested in attending, grab your popcorn and come enjoy independent films from all over the world. And that's all we've got for now on upcoming events. Stay tuned for what's to come on LIE. Let's take a look at what's coming up this week on PATV. Saturday and Sunday mornings are all about the kids. Be sure to catch Adventures with Mickey at 8.30 a.m., followed immediately by an hour block of classic cartoons. This week, Mickey will be reading selections from Eric Carl as well as stories having to do with the circus. At noon and midnight every weekend, it's classic movie time. This week, we're going to have classic selections from the Three Stooges. What will Mo, Larry, and Curly get themselves into this time? Make sure to watch and find out. Monday at 5.30, be sure to catch Access Spotlight. This week, the spotlight is on Great Neck Library Director Kathy Giotas. Get to know a little bit more about the new executive director and what the Great Neck Library has to offer. Tuesday at 8 p.m., be sure to catch Something to Talk About. Host Bonnie D. Graham brings you guests from a variety of backgrounds to keep you not only well-informed, but entertained. Wednesday at 1 p.m., tune into the Parkwood Ice Show. Watch as students from the famous Andrew Stogiopoulos Ice Rink perform their annual showcase. This year's performance is entitled Cirque Ice and celebrates with circus-themed routines. Thursday at 8.30 p.m., we bring you the Manhasset American Legion Post 304 Community Service Awards. This yearly program awards civil servants for outstanding service in their field. And Fridays at 7 p.m., be sure to catch new episodes of LIE, PATV's own weekly informative and entertaining new program with highlights from PATV, useful tips, and the latest news, all to keep you in the know. And as always, all of our original programming will stream on the web so you can take PATV anywhere. Just log into patv.org slash livestream. Oh, and thanks for watching. You know, week after week, seeing all these kitchen tips from your mom, uh, I have to say, I was getting kind of tired of seeing and not being able to taste. So, yep. you know. So my mom wanted to make Big ziti for everybody here on PATV. That's her favorite dish. And in this next segment, you'll so find out how to make her recipe of Big ziti, and you'll get to see some uh, familiar faces from over here at PATV Take as well. Take notes, everybody, because it was delicious. Hi! Have you ever wanted to cook for a crowd of people and didn't know exactly what to make? Well, today I have made one of my favorite dishes for a crowd, baked ziti. Today I made baked ziti for PA TV. Okay, enough horseplay. Let's get down to business. These are the ingredients that I used for the baked ziti. Of course, ziti, homemade tomato sauce, which we made with the plum tomatoes because I'm a boss. I figure the whole thing should be done over, Rebecca. I don't like it. Regatta cheese. Shredded or sliced mozzarella, grated cheese, fresh or dry herbs of your choice, salt and pepper, and cooked peas. Of course, you can make this recipe with any green vegetable of your choice, or sometimes I like to add cooked meat 
as, for example, sausages. Bring your large pot of water to a boil. Make sure you salt the boiling water. Uh-oh, I forgot to add salt. I don't cook with salt. I mean, you know that. The yeah. times that you've eaten here, I don't add salt. I, I'll put the salt shaker on the table, but I will not add salt. Nick even told me, goes, don't forget to put the salt because you're making it for PATV. Cook the ziti three or four minutes less than the cooking time indicated on the package because it will continue to cook in the oven. I like to reserve about two cups of pasta water to use to thin out the regatta later. In a bowl, we add regatta cheese. Depending on the amount of ziti you're making, I like to use about half a container to the whole container. But I will not do it now because I am thrifty and this is sealed and I am not making baked ziti tonight for dinner. In the regatta cheese, add some of the pasta water to thin it out so it's a nice creamy sauce. Then add some grated cheese. You add some uh, fresh or dry herbs of your choice, salt and pepper, of course, then some cooked peas, but then make sure you mix everything well together. Then you need to add your tomato sauce, mix it again. Then you pour it into a greased casserole dish Make sure you pour lots of sauce on top and lots of sliced or shredded mozzarella and bake it in a preheated 375 degree oven for 20 minutes with the foil on. Then with the dish uncovered, bake for another 20 minutes until it is nice and bubbly and the mozzarella is melted. Oh, and that's it. All of this talking has taken the wind out of me. I hope PATV likes this. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, God, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to go back for seconds. <laughs> Bellissima. Bellissima. Yeah. We love you. Well, and we love you, shot, Here we go. Thank but you. we love you. <laughs> action shot. I like the top and the cool. Action. <laughs> action shot. Just as a note. Very sweet. Action shot. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a pleasure to serve you. Until next time. Ciao. It's cold in this basement. The boss made me shut the heat off because it's making too much noise. I think I'll sunbathe under the beach umbrella. So yeah, that baked ziti was really good. You know what really works off the baked ziti after a big meal? Going for a run, going to the gym, swimming. No, I was talking about video games. Let's take a look at the most recent video game news. Hello everyone and welcome to LIG, Long Island Gaming. Today we're gonna be talking about some video games that are coming out soon and some that are not coming out soon but are still worth mentioning because they're awesome. Um, so May 13th we got coming up, uh, Doom comes out, the release of the beloved, considered first, first person shooter. Uh, it's gonna be awesome, the graphics look really good, uh, you can chainsaw a demon made out of flesh and metal, it's, it's gonna be amazing, they have multiplayer, it's just gonna be really good, so you should check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, what do you have to talk about, Arm? No Man's Sky is going to be one of the newest, freshest games out there. It's going to be, they, they made algorithms, so all the planets are generated as you appear on them. And when you leave the planet, so it doesn't lag, the, it just stays as a number. So when people go back, it generates again. That sounds cool. So it's going to be a full universe? Yeah, they even have some lore about an atlas. 
So basically, when you go to a planet, if you kill the animals there, there's like these sentinel dudes who try to kill you. So you kind of got to escape. Cool. I'm excited. Um, that's it this week for LIG. We'll see you next time. I want to tell you all about the brick wall. The Brick Wall is a live open mic night show. We do it right here in the studio. We bring in talent all over Long Island, and we broadcast live on the web, on our channels. Awesome. And anybody who's got talent, we encourage you to come in and perform live on our show. Where do you get an opportunity like this? To play your instruments, you know, show us your talent, maybe you play these. Yeah, yeah I think that I, you know. Yeah, okay. Um. So if there is actually any real talent out there, I want you to email us at patvbrickwall at gmail.com. We need you. We need you. So let's take a look at some real talent who's been through our studio already. This is Brick Wall. What are we all about, you may ask? We are a live open mic show televised for all to enjoy. Wondering if you've got what it takes to be on our show? Well, do you sing? Do you dance? Can you tell jokes? Do you have any talent whatsoever? Doesn't matter. We want you. Just kidding. Please be funny. If you can make it to Long Island and want to perform on our show, all you got to do is email us at patvbrickwall at gmail.com. Just start right at the beginning, man. Uh, let's see. So I was a professional musician. I feel right, uh, right at home uh, watching uh, music be performed here. Uh, I was a professional musician before I started doing stand-up comedy, uh, which just means I'm a special kind of disappointing to my family. <laughs> right? That transition, that's like telling your folks, hey, great news. I'm moving out of the basement and back into my old room. Yeah, get your sewing machine out of there, Mom. Seriously. dinosaurs that's the truth yes that's true that is true but they you know they existed I'm not saying that I'm one of them I believe in dinosaurs but Good. They, they existed a long time ago electricity exists right now we're in a house I know the lights are on <laughs> I know it's real yeah it's 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 super real and how was I supposed to know you fly away and how are you supposed to know that I cry every day for Sarah Beth, for Sarah Beth? I love you more with every breath and every single tiny step. I'm so in love with Sarah Beth. Yes. Johnny, um, tell me, how would you describe the first alien you ever encountered? The first alien I ever covered, ever uh, encountered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was really ugly. Um, well, uh -huh. maybe that wasn't the first. <laughs> now, so what was the, the first? The first alien I ever encountered was a small man who had um, 
big red eyes and a face like a fox. I, I, and he said, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone you and I'm gonna mass produce you and I'm gonna sell you all, all over the universe. Are you telling me that you are not the one really, and only Johnny Dark? He told me that I was the perfect weapon and that there would be many of me. Wow, you're I like Django Fett. Spread across time and space, one dimension to the next. Oh, so you're the only Johnny Dark we have in this dimension? Uh, there, there are more, there are, yeah. I, I exist in many different worlds. Well, I am glad to have this version of you right here and now. I will say that much. You're welcome. So Memorial Day is coming up. Yep, it's in a couple weeks. And PATV has a series, Our Veteran Stories, which honors veterans. And it's been twice nominated for New York Emmy Awards. And we're going to be showing clips from this program all this month. And right now, we have a very special clip for you from Joseph Giannini. Enjoy. If I live 100 years, I'll just never, ever be able to, uh, to, to tell the, the story uh, the way it really happened. These young kids who, uh, you just run up to them, and uh, when we were all boxed in, they were all around, and they were all over our perimeter, and we're throwing grenades, and I uh, got pretty close, and uh, just run up to one of these kids and say, uh, Marine, we're going to get out of here, aren't we? And uh, the kid look up to you and say, you're damn right we are, Skipper. In 1966, I just finished uh, four years of college at uh, Hofstra University, had a BA, and I, I had received a draft notice from uh, the Great Neck Draft Board. And um, they told me to report down to Fort Hamilton, which I did. And at the very last moment, I decided to go into the Marine Corps. And the reason I did that is, uh, these Marines walked into the room where we were, and they said they wanted uh, volunteers for the greatest fighting force in the world. I was very impressed. Uh, I knew that uh, I was on my way to Vietnam, and I felt that uh, I'd have a better chance of surviving with the Marines because they had such a good rep, and they never left anyone behind. When I got there, literally flew in by with a helicopter and, and got off the helicopter in a jungle. Uh, my experience is what, um, I didn't see any live people from 1-9, all I saw was bodies. That was my initiation into Vietnam. I was there and my mission as their leader was to keep them alive any way I could. And I, my life was expendable. I had to keep them alive, and I did pretty good at keeping them alive. Um, but that's that was the real, you know. Any good officer, I think, figured that out. Forget about the war; just think about your men. It changes everybody. What what it does to you is it strips away um, your humanity. You, I mean, it, it really just. Um, you want to survive, and, and you'll do anything to keep your men alive and to stay alive. So I, I used to, I wrote home that we basically, you know, we became animals. We, you know, we, we, um, we did what we had to do. And I knew that, I knew that um, I was use, losing my humanity. I wrote home to my sister and said, I'm losing it. And I think I just have a little bit left. And I held on. I held on. I, ha I actually had a little bunker. It, you can get killed at any moment. It, we, it was that. It was. It was horrible. Uh, it was almost driving us crazy. I think I was almost. Some uh, some of those incoming barrages. I was so s terrified that I was on. I think I was about to go insane. I was so frightened. Like I said, there, there, were, there were times when I thought that I had very little humanity left, but uh, I think uh, what I brought back is, it didn't, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't bitter, I wasn't angry when I first came back. I think it made me feel more for, you know, for people because I wound up being a defense lawyer and that's defending people and I wound up defending Veterans. In fact, my first felony case, my serious case, was a defending a Vietnam veteran that was uh, facing a minimum of 15 to life that had been framed 
by some cops on a drug case. That was my first felony trial. So I've been, you know, I just, when I came back, I think I felt I had more compassion for individuals, not for the human race. And the human race is a disgrace, but for individuals, if, uh, I, you know, I set out to help people and I'm still doing it. And I was pretty confident, too, because, you know, my experience in the Marine Corps that I could, nothing was going to be as bad as that. I don't care what it was. <laughs> no trial, no situation. I was going to be able to handle it. And I, and I am that way, I think. So that's the end of our show, and we saw a lot on this show. Don't forget to follow us all over social media, and don't forget about that hashtag of the week. This week is hashtag missing sock mystery. Something bothering you, Mike? Oh, geez, I'm sorry. I just got this like really tough decision I need to make, and oh. I can't really concentrate on anything. Do you know anybody who could help me In with fact, tough decisions? Yeah, we do. What about Grace? She loves to help people. She's intuitive. She's awesome. Perfect. Yeah, let's take a look at the vibe of the week. I think it can really help me out. Thanks, Rebecca and Mike, for that great intro, as always. You two rock. And hopefully I can give everybody the rockin' vibes for this week. And this week, the vibes are really going to be in your favor. Things that have been stalled, things that have been going a little hectic or haywire are going to finally start unraveling in a good way. So, if you have patience and a really good sense of humor, this week is going to pay off for you. And I want to say with business and career issues finally smoothing over. So it's a great week to look forward to because it's all about the money honeys in this week. Enjoy it. Till the next show.